The Vikings are reeling and back dome, hoping to end this season on an up note. It's game day and the rival Saints are in town. We break it down with a promising young wide receiver. Basketball is back and the new look Wolves are the talk of the town. He's a Tar Heel, a young Wolves shooter, and he's with us. How about the Wild? We talk hockey with one of the game's greats and a unique story, D3 style. Mom and dad are married and working in sports in the Mayak. It's all ahead, it's game on. In the heart of Minneapolis, you've found us. This is Game On, powered by Seven Steakhouse Sushi Ultra Lounge at Sky Bar, downtown's ultimate event destination at Blocky. Every seat, the best seat in the house. And hello again, great to have you with us. It's game day, Game On, powered by Seven and the Vikings and the New Orleans Saints. A little bit later, two of the Vikings' final three games are at home. Big stuff today at the Dome. Everyone looking for a win, especially over New Orleans. And for all you dads out there, six shopping days until Christmas. Great show for you today. We're talking Vikings, Wolves, hockey. Uh, we're all over the place, but we always start game on by the numbers. And when you look at the numbers, not great. Vikings, two and 11, losers in five straight, seven of the last eight. The worst Vikings team is the 1984 Steckle team at three and 13. This team trying to avoid that. As I just mentioned, they'll play two of their final three games in Metrodome. And uh, since we are looking ahead, at spring and warmer weather. Twins Fest tickets are on sale as spring training approaches starting around February 20th. Delighted to start game on. It's game day, New Orleans Saints and the Vikings at the Dome, number 19 in the house. Devin Aroma Shadu, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Been a little bit of a rough season, but you guys are hanging in there, two of your next three at home, and I'm sure that today against New Orleans, you want to win. Yeah, we definitely want to win today, or at least go out and, and put up a good fight. With, you know, we're yeah. not going to roll over just because we, we're not playing for much. I've been in that locker room, and I've seen other seasons when it hasn't, you know, gone all that great. And heads are down and all that. That isn't the case here. You guys are really, really, really fighting hard. There's just been a lot of nasty turns. Yeah, I think, you know, we know we, that we have a good team, and we just took took some, uh, some tough losses. We had a lot of close losses this year, so I think that's been the case. You came in as a free agent. Do you like it here? I definitely do like it here. Yeah. I didn't know how I was going to like it, you know, yeah. moving further north, but I definitely do like it. There's a lot of holes, a lot of areas that the Vikings are going to retool. One of the areas is a wide receiver, and I know that that is a role that you would like to come back and, and, and have a significant place in because there's a lot of opportunity. Yeah, definitely is a lot of opportunity there, and I just look to take advantage of it the rest of the season and hopefully be back next year to do it again. Fans that take losses hard, they don't take them nearly as hard as you guys do, do you? No, I mean, some of them may. I'm sure there's a lot out there that, that might take it worse than us, but, you know, preparing all week and then going out there and losing in some of the games that we lost, how they've been so close, has been real tough. When you look at New Orleans, this is a team that loves to pass. They love to put it up all week long in practice is uh, is that something that you guys on the offensive side of the ball do your own little scheming in preparation yeah we definitely you know scout scout what they do and try to have our guys mimic what they're doing and we know we're gonna have to you know be able to be at our top our top to play with them do you have to prepare for ponder and joe webb uh, considering christian's been a little banged up um i think yeah you just kind of go you just both of them get reps and you know yeah. christian will probably get more of the reps because he is a starter so i mean they, they pretty much have the same role so it's kind of we're just out there just running and whoever's throwing the ball you just catch whatever they throw right devin and roman should do in the house it's viking saints today at the dome more only here on game on and you can always catch up with us and get the latest on your teams at our site. It's GameOnTVMN.com. Great blogs. Shockers Locker covers the Vikings from A to Z. We have Twins Baseball, The Wild, The Wolves, MMA. We link you to our Viking partner site, PurplePride.org. Check us out. It's GameOnTVMN.com. What's going on? We're giving Matt the NFL experience of a high-pressure field goal. Get an ultimate NFL fan experience. Just snap the tag wherever Bud Light is sold and you can win. Bud Light in the NFL. Here we go. Hey, it gets easier. Really? <laughs> no. Now you can sell your gold and get a great wireless deal in one stop. We'll show you. 
The twins at BC Wireless offer prepaid plans with recurring billing, no contracts, no credit checks. At BC Wireless, we offer T-Mobile, Simple Mobile, Boost Mobile, and Gold. BC Wireless also buys your gold. BC Wireless with two metro locations and growing. For gold and prepaid wireless, it's BC Wireless. Los atendemos en español. Walling, Berg, and Deeble believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deeble is there. Walling, Berg, and Deeble, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Welcome back. Game on. Game day. Vikings and Saints on Fox 9 at high noon. Devin Aroma should do in the house. When you talk about all the change, all the injuries, all the close losses, how hard is that? This is your guys' job. How hard is that to deal with that during the course of a season? Um, that's, you know, like you said, it is our job. So we know that's, that's part, of, part of our job, injuries and, you yeah. know, tough losses, things like that. So we just have to find a way to deal with it and just get ready for the next game. What's been the highlight of your season so far? Just having the opportunity to get out there and have a significant role again, not necessarily any play, but just knowing that the coaches trust me. I think that's, you know, probably been the highlight, even though it's not an actual play. Do you guys care if uh, road or home? Because you get the next two or three at home. I would imagine sleeping in your own bed, going to the practice facility, making that happen. It's got to be a lot easier than that. Yeah, it's definitely easier to play at home. But, you know, I, me, I like, I like to play on the road. I don't yeah. mind playing on the road. I like the adversity. Well, we want you back. Make sure that uh, keep up the good fight. Congratulations on a, on a well-fought season, and thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. Happy holidays, too. Devin, right, same to you. should do in the house, only here on Game On. And don't forget now that the NBA is back in business. You can keep up with the Wolves in the NBA with my weekly blog. It's called Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. It's a great NBA website full of inside information, strong Wolves viewpoints, all at your fingertips. It's interactive, so drop me a note. Tell me what you think. Rod at GameOnTVMN.com. And look for a new Simon Says blog every Thursday morning, only at Timberwolves.com. Don't need the website, the man's right here. Number 19, Wayne Ellington in the house. Welcome to Game On. How you doing, man? Great to have you here. I'm one of your biggest fans. Love your uh, shooting from outside, your, the defense, all that stuff that goes into your game. And I can imagine with all the new faces, from coaches to players, man, it's been crazy over at Target Center. <laughs> Yeah, um, a lot of new faces, a lot of different energy. Yeah. There's a lot of enthusiasm, so it's a great thing so far. A lot of positive energy, and it starts in the, uh, on the court, but also your front office. Everybody is excited about this season ahead, from Rubio to Love to you, uh, the coaches, everybody. Yeah, um, like I said, there's a lot of positive energy. Uh, it's kind of like a fresh start for all of us. Um, you know, it hasn't been you know, what we have liked it to have been, you know, past few years so we're looking back on that we're looking uh, looking forward to getting back on track 15 wins 17 wins more losses than you've ever experienced in 10 lifetimes when you were at Tar Hill and in, in your high school days uh, there's room to make improvement and can you already sense a little bit of a shift in practices the way you guys do things oh yeah certainly uh, you know coach Adam and has us doing things uh, the right way you know, yeah. he has his, Really, really sharing the ball and his offense. You know, everybody gets to touch it. You know, he has it really, really focusing on the defensive end of the floor. Yeah. And those are the things that you know we need to, to win some ball games. Yeah. Do you remember any of the old timers who are on the coaching staff? Jack Sikma, who I grew up with in Seattle, and Terry Porter and T.R. Dunn and some of these guys. You remember those names? I do. Some of the names pop out to me, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've had a lot of challenges for shooting games already. Yeah. You know. You'll take care of that. <laughs> Everybody keeps talking about Rubio, Ricky Rubio and all that. What kind of game does he have? You've seen him. Uh, he's a true point guard. You know, he's a pass first point guard. Uh, he loves uh, getting his teammates involved. Um, you know, he's, he's picking up uh, the plays really fast. You know, he's a smart guy. Uh, I think he's going to be really great for us. Wayne Ellington is here. He's number 19 on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Glad the NBA is back in business and more with the sharpshooter next on Game On. And when you join us here at 7, we got you covered with a free charge for that cell phone. The T-Mobile charging station will take care of you and put a charge back in that smartphone of yours. It's all courtesy of T-Mobile. 
and 7. It's T-Mobile's 4G Wonderland. Smartphones ring. Are you listening? 4G speeds. Yep, they're blistering. Stream movies and shows. It's Santa to go. Walking in a 4G Wonderland. Search for gifts. Like a scooter? That was fast. Goodbye, computer. Our fastest phones of all time. Like the Samsung Galaxy S2. And each line is $49.99. Seven is the ultimate fine dining and entertainment destination. There's three levels of distinct and unforgettable experiences ahead. Seven is the winner of the prestigious Open Table Diner's Choice Award. It's memorable. You'll never forget Seven's five-star steakhouse. Seven's award-winning menu. Seven Sushi is not only unique, but unrivaled. And Seven's view is sweeping and magnificent year-round. Seven offers catering, the ease of front door valet, and unforgettable service. It's Seven, downtown Minneapolis, your ultimate event destination. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. Twin City Wireless doesn't care about our competitors. We care about you, the customer. We care that you get the best prices. Plans starting at $40 a month, unlimited text, talk, international text, and internet. Twin Cities Wireless carries all the latest models of phones and accessories and handles all service providers. Twin City Wireless now has two locations, Brooklyn Center and Northeast Minneapolis. Twin City Wireless is not just business, it's personal. For the month of December, receive a free phone or a Bluetooth headset with the purchase of a phone. Welcome back. It's Game On, Rod and Wayne Ellington. I was going to say 19, like I said earlier, but you changed back to your college number. Yes, How yes. the heck did that happen? Well, uh, when I first got drafted here, Corey Brewer had 22. That's right. So I couldn't get it. Yeah. Uh, so He's gone, and you get it now. Finally get to get my number. Well, you were very nice about not busting me up earlier. <laughs> but I'm glad you're in 22. Well, let's just slide, but you know, <laughs> 22 is my number. I, 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 have you always had that number? Um, since about sixth grade. What is it about athletes and their number? It's just, it's like it, it, holy stuff. <laughs> uh, I think, you know, we're a little bit superstitious. Yes. Yeah. Plus, plus, you know, once you're used to something, it's just part of you. Yeah. It's just part of your game. So we're sitting here during the commercial break, and he says, you know I'm not number 19 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And I didn't know, so I should have read my press notes, but that's, uh, it's all good. You'll still make the basket. So anyway, as we look forward to uh, a very short camp, mm -hmm. I hear some players, Kevin Garnett, some other guys over the last couple of days, grumbling about it. You guys okay with that? Yeah, yeah, we have, you know, we have one of the youngest teams in the league. So, uh, you know, we're doing just fine. Uh, we're picking up coaches' uh, offense and defense. Uh, pretty well, and you know it takes time. We got a whole new uh, array of things to learn. So yeah. it's, it's really important for us. Is it going to feel a little bit like you're back in Chapel Hill because you guys are going to run more structure? Even when you're running, it seems like the Adelman style is uh, structure with success. Yeah, exactly. You know, he, he he gives you a set to play out of, but then he lets you play basketball. You know, yeah. He lets us. He, he really lets us. You know, play our games and, and find. Uh, you know what our strengths are yeah. and, and use them. Do you uh, stay in touch with the fellows back in Chapel Hill? Oh, of course, all the time. They're having a great season. They're having a, they're having a, a really good season so far, and I think you know, towards the end, when it really counts, they'll be even better. My wife, who is also a Tar Heel, complains about all the tough games that they're playing, but <laughs> you guys have always done that since you've been there. You, you always play the tough games because you're better in March and April when it counts. Exactly. That's part of being a competitor also. Yeah. 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 Awesome. We're delighted to have you here. Have a great season. We'll be yelling at you from the stands. And Thank you so much, man. Very excited. Wayne Ellington, number 22. Number 22 of the Minnesota Timberwolves and a very, very popular Tar Heel. Only here on Game One.
Time now for the Wheels of Thunder Week ahead. The Vikings get Washington on Saturday the 24th. The Wild with Colorado on Boxing Day the 26th. The Wolves open their regular season, the 66 game regular season against Oklahoma City then. The Swarm on the 28th against Buffalo. The Valkyrie January 6th at Seattle. Spring training now 68 days away. Go for hockey against Niagara on the 30th. There's North Dakota State and the men's basketball team. And Hockey Day in Minnesota is January 21st, Pond Hockey and a lot more. On the wheels of Thunder Radar, the Pink Ribbon Riders will have their snow run on the 6th to the 7th. The Canterbury Amsoil Nationals out in Shakopee as well. And there's Fire on Ice in Annadale on January 14th. Hi, this is Brian Layton and GB Layton. Welcome to your nightouttwincities.com. We are excited to bring the newest, the most comprehensive local entertainment website to the Twin Cities and the surrounding communities. This is the most affordable way to promote your business, bar none. With a few clicks, the perfect night or day is planned. Restaurants, accommodations, nightclubs, bands, entertainment, events, specials, and more. Fast, easy, and fun. Your night out is in the palm of your hand. Now you can sell your gold and get a great wireless deal in one stop. We'll show you. The twins at BC Wireless offer prepaid plans with recurring billing, no contracts, no credit checks. At BC Wireless, we offer T-Mobile, Simple Mobile, Boost Mobile, and Gold. BC Wireless also buys your gold. BC Wireless with two metro locations and growing. For gold and prepaid wireless, it's BC Wireless. Los atendemos en español. Get the party started, dial it. Pitbull together with Bud Light, here we go. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by Seven, your ultimate event destination. Great to have you. Happy holidays, everybody, too. You recognize this man, Brian Lawton, the former North Star NHL great. Great to have you here. Thanks. My pleasure. Thank you. The Wild, it, they're the talk of the town. They're off to a great start, playing great hockey. Are you surprised by what they're doing? You know what? I am very surprised. They've played at an amazing level. Right. It's not just that they've had a good start. They've had a great start. And, you know, for me, it all starts with Mike Yo. Yeah. He's been fantastic. What is it about this young guy? Youngest coach in the league. Uh, a lot of people were panning the wild for making that decision, but makes Chuck Fletcher look like a, a genius. Yeah, you know what? It really does. And, and when you analyze it, it wasn't an easy decision right. for the wild for Chuck Fletcher. Fletcher to make. I mean, they had Todd in here who did a nice job. Mike was a little bit similar to him, but he has expounded on maybe the good qualities of communication you know, bringing a lot of structure to the team. And he's really got everybody to buy into the accountability of what they're doing. That's what's really impressed me is that buy-in factor. Because they don't have a lot of superstars on this hockey team. No, they don't. I mean, when you break the wild down, it's a very curious case. I hear it all the time from people in other markets. How are they doing it? Why are they doing so well? I don't understand. You know, they don't have a Steven Stamkos. They don't have a Taves. I don't have anybody like that, but what they have is a great team game. Right. They're getting contributions. I think they've got six or seven players with eight goals already. The goaltending has been out of this world. 
Uh, Bob Mason, their goaltending coach, he yeah. deserves a lot of credit for that. And overall, uh, it's been a very pleasant surprise, I'm sure, for everybody involved. And everybody wants to know, can this hockey team keep it up as we head towards the playoffs in the second half? You know what? Initially, when they went on this run, and, and they started about average their first six, seven, eight games, you know, right. they're right around 500, and since then they've taken off. After a few weeks, I said, I don't think so. But all they do is keep winning. Right. And if they can, you know, just stay together as a group, if the goaltending can stay hot, then they absolutely can. If the goaltending falters a little bit, this league, it's a very fine line between winning and losing. As fast as you can win six or seven in a row, you can lose six or seven in a row. They got a lot of veteran people, though, that have been around. They understand that. They're going to do their best to make sure that doesn't happen. I like the Heatley set of Gucci uh, pickups during the offseason for sure. Now, for you, great to see you again. You're doing a lot of radio, a lot of television, coaching some youth hockey. Uh, where are you at right now? Well, actually, a lot of people don't know, but I have uh, kind of a, a company that helps people to analyze teams, and we've been very involved with a couple of different groups looking at National Hockey League teams. One of them, I hope to have a sale uh, closed by the end of the year. That's pretty exciting. Well, we're excited. We're grateful to have you here. Thank you for your insight, and always great to have you on Game My on. pleasure. Thank you. Brian Lawton in the house. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, too. Thank you, Rod. Only here on Game On. Time now for Who's Hot and Who's Cold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems of Anoka. Our neighbors to the north get the nod this time. As the NHL light shines brighter on the wild, Minnesota visits Winnipeg for the first time just a few days ago, and that is feel-good time in Winnipeg. What a great story that hockey is back and belongs in Winnipeg. Good job, NHL. And the NBA is cold for all its meddling in the Chris Paul trade mess. They should have allowed the first deal it's been a gigantic, crazy situation for the National Basketball Association. They're cold for their handling and meddling. That's Who's Hot News Cold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems of Anoka. We'd love to have you join us for a live taping here at Game On, powered by 7 at Block E. Check our website for up-to-date guest updates. Aaron Henderson will be with us, Mike Grant in the near future, Martell Webster of the Timberwolves as well. All our shows are on our website and stay in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter, and iTunes as well. It's always Game On TV. It's T-Mobile's 4G Wonderland. Smartphones ring. Are you listening? 4G speeds. Yep, they're blistering. Stream movies and shows. It's Santa to go. Walking in a 4G Wonderland. Search for gifts. Like a scooter? That was fast. Goodbye, computer. Our fastest phones of all time. Like the Samsung Galaxy S2. And each line is $49.99. Seven is the ultimate fine dining and entertainment destination. There's three levels of distinct and unforgettable experiences ahead. Seven is the winner of the prestigious Open Table Diner's Choice Award. It's memorable. You'll never forget Seven's five-star steakhouse, Seven's award-winning menu. Seven Sushi is not only unique, but unrivaled. And Seven's view is sweeping and magnificent year-round. Seven offers catering, the ease of front door valet, and unforgettable service. It's Seven, downtown Minneapolis, your ultimate event destination. Being creative is who we are. At Wallingburg and Deeply, families are our passion. We help create new families. This combination of experience, passion, and creativity allows us to fully represent individuals in family court crises. Wallingburg and Deeply believes in families. We will listen, counsel, and advocate for you. Wallingburg and Deeply, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. And it's Game On, time now for our Game On update. It wasn't all that long ago that long snapper Colin Leffler was having Game On fun with us rooftop, showing off his craft to me on the rooftop. But Colin is now one of a handful of purple players on the shelf because of injuries. We're hoping he heals quickly and gets back soon. Apple Valley basketball phenom Tyus Jones is doing as expected, having a great season and grabbing major attention from colleges. Jones is now one of the top five rated point guard prospects in the country. 
And thanks again for all the feedback after the good time we had a few weeks ago with Vikings tight end Vicente Schinko and Bizarre Food host and local chef Andrew Zimmern. Don't hurt yourself because there's a lot of sharp things. Right. But hold the legs like this. Right. And I do this in two bites. One, two. So you can do with your side, either the legs and chest or the brains and eyes. Bring your eye. Go ahead. God, I don't know. No pressure. Did, man. He just don't think about it. Yeah, just. Right. Dude, I was joking. You didn't really eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, now I can still spit it out. You can find that show, all the outtakes, and full versions on our website and YouTube. And that's your Game On Update. And it is time for the Mayak Minute. This is a great story. D3 mom and dad coaching. This is Tim and Beth Whittle from McAllister. Dad coaches basketball, mom coaches swimming and diving and Banks and Summer. This is a very busy house to be coaching at the same time at the same school. It really is, it really is. It takes a lot of juggling. Yeah. And I don't know that either one of us could be married to someone that wasn't a coach. To really understand what that means. Is it just crazy in your house? It is crazy. Thankfully, we have a lot of help. We have a terrific nanny who's there at our house mm. most every day, six yeah. or seven days a week. and. Um, we, we just work together. It, it takes a team, I think, to get it done. Oh, I have one and I say the same thing, but you have two and <laughs> gigantic, busy household. Do you carpool together? Some days we do. Yeah. Some days it's uh, we never see each other until we put our heads to bed and say, oh, how was your day? Yeah. Uh, one's always coming and the other one's going. But being dad and mom, I can just imagine that you wouldn't have it any other way. It, it's the best. I, can't, I really can't imagine it. I can't, I can't remember my life before summer came along and she just turned two and the days before her are just a blur. It's great. Dad? We call ourselves Team Whittle because we really have to, we have to serve as a team and work as a team, much like we ask our own teams to be, so. And, and I can imagine when you're coaching, it, it, it's even more fun because no of your experience. It. No doubt about it. To have the kids be able to come to a swim meet with me or come with mom to a basketball game and be able to see mom and dad on the sidelines or on the pool deck, yeah. it really adds a unique dimension. You are a cutie pie, you know that? <laughs> she steals the show. <laughs> she does, she does. And, and Banks is uh, busy as can be. He's just starting to talk, he's eight months old. Uh, he's gonna be walking any day now, I think. So we've got our hands full. This is a wonderful story. Thank you for being with us, coming down in the middle of your uh, busy schedule to take care of us, and we're grateful to have you here. And thank you, you for us. are a cutie pie. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Love Rod. you. To, thank you very much. Thanks. So, Team Whittle, Team Whittle, only here in the Mayak Minute on Game On. And that's it for us. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Sunday. Delighted to have you with us. And you know, when you come down to the show, you can get autographs like Jacob and Ethan and even be a part of the show. So we're all going to tell you at the same time, have a great week and Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Enjoy.